the final boss. And here we go. Because this is how good. The final. Yeah, damn, that's good. Are you ready to test your wrestling knowledge? You got a lot to think about. Well, I'm your host, Kevin J. Callis. Yeah! And in the immortal words of Triple H, it's time to play the game. So let's go to the board now and check out the categories you'll be quizzed on in this episode. Starting with Viva Las Vegas. Followed by our potent potables category, Repackaged Wrestlers. Up next, a little light reading for you, some must-read memoirs. And then we're on to Bleacher Creatures, the worst plush toy I think that's ever been created. And last but certainly not least, we're going to spin the wheel with a little raw roulette. Ladies, I just love my work. And as always, we kick things off with the 200-point jobber round, the easiest round in wrestling jeopardy. Can you answer all five of these questions correctly, or will you completely embarrass yourself? Oh, God. No! All right, let's saddle up to the table and kick off the job around with the first clue. The city of Las Vegas will host this two-night WWE extravaganza at Allegiant Stadium in April 2025. And the correct answer, that'll be WrestleMania 41. Are you ready? Vegas, baby, Vegas! Here comes the second clue of the jobber round. Elias was repackaged into this wrestler in 2022. Now, I'm sorry if I'm spoiling this for any of you folks, but Ezekiel was not Elias' brother. It was just Elias without the beard. You're doing a great job, brother. I love you, man. Uh, I love you, too. And we're on to the third clue of the job around. This wrestler's must-read memoir is subtitled To Be the Man. And you should be styling and profiling when you read the book of Ric Flair. Just like that. Woo! And that brings us to the first bleacher creature for you to take a look at. Check out this bleacher creature and tell me who the heck is this guy? Maybe it looks like him. I don't see it, but the correct answer is the Megastar L.A. Knight. Yeah! And let's finish up the job around with a clue from Raw Roulette. This was the special stipulation in the Raw Roulette match between William Regal and Goldust. Now, technically, I'll accept two answers here. Two, not one. Two answers here. The first being a Las Vegas Showgirls match, and the second being a Trading Places match. <laughs> All right, so how'd you do? Did you go five for five there? Dummy. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's time to make things a little harder with the 400-point round, starting off with this clue from Viva Las Vegas. This all-female Las Vegas-based wrestling promotion had a scripted television series on Netflix starring Allison Brie, Betty Gilpin, and Mark Marin. Now, I highly recommend it if you haven't seen this show. The correct answer is Glow, the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. And we're on to another clue from Repackaged Wrestlers, Festus was repackaged into this wrestler in 2009. And that would be the big LG himself, who is Luke Gallows. Moving on to some wrestling books for 400. This wrestler's must-read memoir is called A Lion's Tale, Around the World in Spandex. Another one of my favorite books is a must-read memoir, Who is Chris Jericho? And that brings us to some more uh, ugly plush toys here. Check out this bleacher creature and tell me, who the heck is this guy? All 
And that would be the rated R Superstar Edge. And let's finish up the 400 point round with a clue from Raw Roulette. This was the special stipulation in the Raw Roulette match between Brodus Clay and Tensai. Now, originally, the wheel landed on lingerie pillow fight. Lingerie? But Brodus Clay tricked him and changed it to like a dance off. Fuck is on a roll tonight. Ugh. Uh, that's why Tensai was in a uh, in a teddy. Oh my, oh my God. God! The correct answer: What is a dance off? Worst thing I've ever seen in my life. All right, ten questions down, fifteen to go. Plus final Jeopardy. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And also check out our new merch over at ProWrestlingTees.com backslash WrestleTrivia. You're going to get one. All right, let's head back to the strip here. Often lauded as one of the worst WrestleManias in history, WrestleMania 9 in 1993 emanated from this Vegas hotel and casino. The correct answer here, what is Caesar's Palace? And that brings us to some more gimmick changes and repackaging wrestlers for 600. Tugboat was repackaged into this wrestler in 1991. And this is when the big fella turned heel, joined forces with Earthquake, became one half of the Natural Disasters, and changed his name to Typhoon. And we're on to the 600-point clue from Must Read Memoirs. This wrestler's Must Read Memoir is subtitled, Not Your Average, Average Girl. Technically, she couldn't really put to be the man since that was already taken. But the correct answer here, it is the man who is Becky Lynch. And here comes the 600-point clue from Ugly Dolls. Check out this bleacher creature and tell me, who the heck is this? Oh yeah, that's the big guy. Oh yeah. Correct answer, who is Otis? And let's finish up the 600-point round here. This was the special stipulation in the Raw Roulette match between Victoria and Lita. The first ever of its kind, this was actually a Final Jeopardy answer, I think in like episode, one of our first uh, six episodes or something like that. But the correct answer here, what is a steel cage match? All right, and it just keeps getting more challenging and more challenging as we're on to the 800 point round. Kicking things off with Viva Las Vegas. In 1999, Ric Flair was literally buried in the sandy Las Vegas desert by this WCW stable. Now, true story, kind of the inspiration behind this category. I just got back from a trip to Sin City with my beautiful wife. We celebrated our 20th wedding anniversary. And it's true, I saw plenty of Filthy animals running around uh, Vegas, but not the ones that buried Flair in the desert. All right, and here we go to more repackaged wrestlers for 800. Reginald, or Reggie, was repackaged into this wrestler in 2022. One of those weird early NXT 2.0 gimmicks. The correct answer, who is Scripps? Hell, I don't know what to make of them. Moving on to Must Read Memoirs for 800. This wrestler's Must Read Memoir is subtitled My Real Life in the Cartoon World of Wrestling. And the reason why it's called the Cartoon World of Wrestling, it's kind of a play on words because Bret the Hitman Hart is actually a talented cartoon artist. I was a true artist. And here comes another clue from Bleacher Creatures. Check out this Bleacher Creature and tell me who the heck this guy is, because I have no idea. Oh, okay, I see it now. 
The correct answer, who is Finn Balor? Dude. And let's finish up the 800-point round with a clue from Raw Roulette. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I got that Otis, uh, oh, yeah, the Otis voice in my head just repeating this over and over again. Hey, it's Daily Double Time, so how much do you really remember about Raw Roulettes over the years? Well, think about that and place your wager right now. All right, time is up. Here is the Daily Double Clue from Raw Roulette. This was the special stipulation in the Raw Roulette match between John Cena and R-Truth. This match was kind of lost in the shuffle here because the aftermath of this was the famous CM Punk pipe bomb. But the correct answer is, what is a tables match? All right, we're on to the main event, the most difficult round of Wrestling Jeopardy. Five extremely hard questions that only the most knowledgeable wrestling fans will even have a glimmer of hope of trying to answer correctly. And I understand that. So pop on those thinking caps and let's kick off the main event by going to the final clue from Viva Las Vegas. In the late 1980s, the AWA, or American Wrestling Association's weekly TV program, was pre-taped at this Las Vegas casino. And the correct answer here, what is the showboat? And we're on to the final clue from repackaged wrestlers for a thousand. Barry Windham was repackaged into this wrestler in 1997. I don't understand why, like, whenever Wyndham would, like, show up to the WWF, WWE, back in the late 80s, early 90s, they'd never call him Barry Wyndham. In 89, they called him the Widowmaker, and then in 97, they called him the Stalker. Like, he's Barry freaking Wyndham. Like, just call him that. As far as Barry Wyndham's concerned, the Stalker, why the hell has he got all that pain on his face? I know who he is. Everybody else knows who he is. Is he embarrassed or what? All right, moving on to the final clue from Must Read Memoirs. This tag team's must-read memoir is subtitled Killing the Business from Backyards to the Big Leagues. Love them or hate them, the correct answer, Matthew and Nicholas Jackson, who are the Young Bucks? And we're down to the final two clues. Check out this bleacher creature and tell me, please, help me out, who the heck is this guy? It kind of looks like Angelo Dawkins, Bruh. but the correct answer here, who is Keith Lee? And let's finish up the board and the main event thousand point round. This was the special stipulation in the Raw Roulette match between D'Lo Brown and Triple H. And the correct answer here, what is a blindfold match? Did you get that right? Cool. Did you get that on tape? Cool, great. Cool. Whoops, I'm supposed to be that way. Whoops, my bad. Ooh. All right, don't go anywhere. The game is not over yet. It's final Jeopardy time. Let's find out this episode's category. Good old Bobby, the brain Heenan. Love the brain, one of my favorite uh, managers, entertainers really of all time. So think about him and his career and place your wager now. All right, time is up. Here is the final Jeopardy clue. You could call Bobby a perfect manager, a broadcast journalist, or the brain. Just don't call him this nickname. Good luck. And the backstory on this nickname is that when Bobby was in the AWA in the 1970s, he was managing Nick Bockwinkle and Ray Stevens, and they were feuding with the Crusher and Dick the Bruiser, 
Dick the Bruiser and the Crusher would always sing a song called Pop Goes the Weasel. And uh, all of a sudden, boom, when they went to the uh, shows, all the fans were calling them the Weasel. And that's the correct answer. Hopefully you got it and you bet it all. Oh, he's furious. <laughs> yes, he is. Oh, he can't get it off. Yes, he can. <laughs> and that does it for another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. As I said before, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below with your score so I know how well you did. Hopefully you did well. And go check out our t-shirts over at ProWrestlingTees.com backslash Wrestle Trivia. My name's Kevin J. Callis. Yeah! And I'll see you next time.